Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In the last episode, we were looking at how to shoot a passport photograph. And in this episode, we're going to move on to the next stage and show you how to resize it and print it out so you can send it off with your application. Remember, if you like what you see on The Photo Show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Let's have a look at preparing your passport photos. Okay, so before we actually start working on the photograph to size it for a passport, one of the things we're gonna to have to find out is exactly what kind of uh, size your passport office is looking for, uh, for your passport application. Now they vary around the world. I know that the US and the UK have different sizes. So I'm doing this from the UK, so I'm gonna sh just show you uh, from the UK website. So if I type in UK passport application, that's come up there. And at the top here, I've got apply online for ukpassport.gov.uk. So I know that's a, the correct site. So if you go onto the online application, on the application form there, just on the right hand side here, you've got a bunch of different options. Second one down there is rules for passport photo. So let's click that. And this is basically gonna give you all of the rules that you need to follow so that your passport photograph will be approved because there's nothing worse than sending off your application and having the photograph um, not qualify and therefore your passport application be rejected. So th there's a bunch of different um, information here about you, you, the photo you're looking for. First thing we're looking for here is the size of your photo. The photo must measure 45 millimeters high by 35 millimeters wide. So 30, 45 millimeters by 35 millimeters is the size that it needs to be and it mustn't be a cut down version of a larger picture. Um, if you use a photo booth, blah, 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 doesn't qualify for that. So that, that's one of the pieces of information we're looking for. Scroll down uh, and we've got this little uh, area here, which is showing you the dimensions that the image needs to be. So 35 millimeters wide by 45 millimeters high. And it's showing you the head placement within that, what the minimum is and what the maximum is. So what I'm actually gonna do with this page is I'm actually just gonna do a screen grab. So I've, I've got this page saved for me. If you don't know how to do a screen grab, there's normally a button on your keyboard that'll basically take uh, a, an image from the screen. You could then paste it into another document so you've got it saved. Or alternatively, you could just print this out and then you've got it as a printed copy. But I'll show you in a second why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna do a screen grab now, pop into Photoshop, and I've got a blank document here that is the same uh, size as a, a, a screen resolution. So if I just control and V into that, and that's just pasted that page in there. Now I'll, I'll come back to that in a second and show you why I did that. So back on the government page, it, it, we've got all the, the uh, size that the image needs to be, maximum and minimum size the head needs to be, and you've got a bunch of example photos that show you what does qualify and what doesn't qualify. So you know, the, the ones with the ticks are approved and the ones with the crosses aren't. So that's basically what you're looking for to just to check what qualifies for your image so we'll come out of google now and back into photoshop right so before i go any further with this one one thing i'm going to do is i i'm just going to isolate this bit out and i'll show you why as i do it so let's get the crop tool up and we know from the information here that we need it to be 45 millimeters high by 35 millimeters wide so let's just change that up here so 35 millimeters in width 45 millimeters in height and you can see now we've got a crop frame here that is in the aspect ratio what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink this down and just pick out that sizing box now on the website it should be the same ratio and size as the image is required so I'm going to go bang on the edge to edge of this there we go so you can see now my crop frame fits exactly over the size that they were looking for. If I press enter. So now I've got this little uh, diagram that I know has been sized exactly to the size that the image is gonna be required. So for the time being, I'm just gonna keep that to one side. I'll show you what we use that for in a, in a while. Okay, so let's move on now to actually preparing the passport photograph that we took originally. And I've already looked through these and I've decided that I'm going to use this image as the passport photo. You, you, uh, if you saw the previous episode, we took a bunch of different images. This is the one that I thought represents Callum the best. It also uh, it, it fits the criteria. He's looking straight down the lens. He's got a very neutral expression 
and it's against the plain background. So first things first, let's grab our crop tool. And we need to crop this in. Now while we're doing this, let's bring in the version that we did from the site. Right, so I've got them side by side now. So you can see roughly with that, when we crop this, what kind of size image we're looking for, how much of the crop we're going to look for. So we, we, not too much at the top, and we're going to be coming across the neck and shoulder area there. So let me just minimize that out again for a second. So we'll bring our crop tool in. And as you can see, I've got the crop tool set to being 35 millimeters wide by 45 millimeters high. So we're on the exact size that we required for the passport. So as I said, let's bring that up to the top there. Let's bring the bottom in a touch there. Just on the shoulders. And you can see by the center spot, if I put the center spot just dead between his eyes, then we're getting it dead in the center. I'm going to press enter. And that's now cropped it down to the size we required. Right, you can see now that the quality seems to have dropped a little, but that's because I've made it larger on the screen than it is physically in, in size. Physically in size, it's 35 millimeters by 45 millimeters, and I've made it full screen. So I'm now going to bring back in the template image that we took from the website. If I press V on my keyboard and hold down Shift, as I drag this across, this will now overlay this onto our original image. So we've now got this as a separate layer over the top of our passport image. If I now lower the opacity on this layer, and you can start to see the image underneath, you can see now that we're within the constraints that the image is allowing. I know the hair is coming over the top, but that doesn't count. Some people have bigger amounts of hair, so that would affect the size of the face. But you can see now that the chin's within the maximum size, and the head size is within the maximum size as well. So what we've actually done here is we've confirmed that we've got our image in the right size. So we can now get rid of that layer off the top. Let's throw that in the trash there. So now we know that our passport image is the correct size uh, required uh, for the passport application. So the next thing we need to do is to work out how do we print this out at the correct size because this is this is quite a small image but it because it needs to be that 35 by 45 millimeter sizing uh, to qualify we need to make sure that it is the correct size. So you, you can print it out on a home printer which I'll do in a while but I'm also going to show you what to do if you don't have a home printer and you want to take this to uh, your local photo lab or send it off to be printed I'll show you a trick that I use and I quite often do this with clients is I, I if they're looking for uh, multiple passports and visa images they can use I quite often give this to them as a file that they can just take to a photo lab and get something printed so first thing I'm gonna do is press control and N and this brings up a new layer and in the drop down here you have options for photo and in the drop down from that you have different image sizes for photos now I'm gonna pick portrait 5 by 7 Five by seven is a really standard size, and anywhere you have something printed, whether it's uh, the, the local chemist or a, a photographic shop, five by seven will be a standard size that you'll be able to print. So I'm going to drag this as a separate layer there. So we've got our five by seven blank layer here. Here is this bringing in our passport image as well. Now, next thing I'm going to do with this with the, on the passport image is I'm going to press Control and A. And you can see now that that's selected all. It's put a, a set of marching ants around the outside of this picture. While that's still selected, go to Edit. And down in your drop-down layer, you've got this option here that says Stroke. Click Stroke. And now you've got a couple of options. Uh, you, you've got Width and Color. The, this is the only bit we're interested in here. It says Width and Color. Blending mode should be normal. Opacity should be 100%. So... We're going to choose a width of one pixel, so one px, and the color we're going to choose as black. So in the stroke section, we've got width as one pixel, color as black. Click OK. 
Now you can press Ctrl and D to get rid of the marching ants. And what we've done here is we've actually put a one pixel border around the outside of this entire image. So we know that's the size that it needs to be and it's now got a, a one pixel border around the outside of it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this image. So get your move tool, press V on the keyboard and now click and drag that into the five by seven blank layer. And there you go, straight away, we've got the passport image on a five by seven image size and you've got the black line around the outside so you can see exactly where your borders for this passport image is gonna be. Now I'm gonna press Control and J and I'm gonna move that along to there. Leave a little gap and Control and J again. And leave a little gap again. So now you can see we've got three copies. I'm just going to turn that off and I'm going to merge those three layers together. I've turned the background off. Shift Control E to merge those through three. Control and J again to make another copy of those three. Control and J again to make another copy. And I'm going to merge those three together. So Shift Control E to merge those together. So now we have our background layer and over the top we have a set of nine perfectly sized passport images on a seven by five photo size. So if we now save this image, let's merge it down. So Shift Control E and we save this. Let's do it as Cal Passport 5 by 7. Save. When we take this to a, a lab or a, a send it off online for a set and have a 7 by 5 inch print made, because this is a consistent size, 7 by 5, and we know that these are the correct size on that image these will be 45 millimeters high by 35 millimeters wide so they'll be bang on the correct size if you try and print this out from uh, your computer there's a chance that it will expand the image size to fit to whatever paper you're using and it will change the ratio size so your passport image will end up being the the incorrect size and therefore you won't be able to use it for your passport so that's the option. If you're going to send that off now to be printed at an external lab, that gives you a 7x5 print. When that comes back, you've got nine copies on there of the passport image to choose from. Now, I'm going to actually print one out at home here uh, on the photo printer I've got. So let me shut the passport out there. And what I'm actually going to do now using this is I'm going to create another blank layer. So Control and N. And again, this time, I'm going to use an A4 size blank. Okay, so now I've got a, a blank workspace that I know is A4 in size, which is the same as the photo paper I'm going to use. I'm just going to rotate that so it's in the landscape orientation. And now I'm going to drag the 7x5 we just made into that frame. If I turn the background off, you can see more of what we're doing. So we've got the 7x5 there. And if I hit Control and J, then I've got another set of that again. Merge those two together. Shift Control E. Turn the background back on. Right, we could lose this one now because we've already saved that. So now you can see what I've got is an A4 sized sheet with. 18 copies of the passport image on it. I know you probably don't need 18 copies, but if you save this, then you've always got um, options to to reprint another uh, passport photo. Okay, is this the important part? Is now is we need to print this out 
from Photoshop. Because if we print this out using uh, one of the computer applications, it may rescale the image size to fit the media. And therefore, once again, that will change the aspect ratio of these images. If, if you just uh, go onto something like the window picture viewer and print out from there, um, it's more than likely going to scale the image so that it um, fits on the medium and the, the 35 by 45 millimeter uh, size will be lost. If you print out direct from Photoshop, asking it to print this as uh, an A4 image, then it will be the correct size and therefore your uh, size of the passport images on there will also be the correct size. So let me load some paper into the printer. So that's the, photo, that's the paper loaded into the printer. Next thing I need to do is to print this out. So if you press Control and P on your keyboard, and that's now brought up the print dialog box there. We can check the print settings. And we'll print this as best photo so that we're getting the best quality out of the image as well. You can see here that we've got the, the a, um, A4 sheet is in the correct aspect ratio. It's in the, the landscape ratio. So everything's going to fit on it. We're going to click print now. And it's saying here that it's too large. It's a larger size because that's it taking into account the weight. So we're going to proceed with that. So we're going to click proceed and let the printer do its job. And there we go, we've got a sheet of 18 perfectly sized passport photos that all we need to do now is to cut them up into individual images and send them off with the passport. So let's just chop them down and then it's job done. So th there you go, that's a run through of how you um, resize the images in Photoshop, get them down to the correct size for your uh, passport requirements. Remember, like I said, this, these are for UK passports. So the 35 millimeters by 45 millimeters is a UK size. The US, I think, has a different sizing, a different aspect ratio. But your uh, government office, wherever you, you look online to uh, get your passport application, will have information on sizing for your passport photographs. So just follow those guidelines. Use the same techniques I've used here and you can either print them out at home or as I've said, you know, make a seven by five print you can send off and you know then that the sizing will be exactly correct. So for now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.